Yeah, I've never came off the bench, so there's, there's a lot. The transition was a lot. Um, my hardest part was definitely the defensive side. Um, it's a lot different than AAU basketball. It's like totally different. And coming straight from AAU basketball to here was very different. And of course, coming off the bench is very, really new for me, so I'm adjusting to that. Has anything surprised you along the way about the experience so far coming from high school to high um, Nothing's really surprised me. It's just, as I said, like defense. How like challenging it is to it just be active on yeah, defense for the whole game. For, for the time. Yeah. How do you go about learning that? Like, you know, practice, I imagine, is part of it. But how do you learn to get where you need to be defensively? Yeah, I'm, I'm guarding some of the best guards in the country every day. So guarding RJ, Cormac, Seth. So just reps, repetitions, just guarding them every day. And the coaches are really hard on me about it. So just that, yeah. From, a, from an offensive standpoint, uh, I mean, just kind of what's it been like for you? Obviously, you've been, you know, had big ball handling responsibilities thus far. Just kind of what's that experience been like for you learning the offense and, and all that stuff? Um, it's, been, it's been a pretty big adjustment, like coming off the bench. Um, I, I got really talented players around me that can hit shots. So that's made it pretty easy because I know when I find them, when I hit them, they're going to make it. So... Just having shooters around me, giving me more spacing. Is I'm curious today, did you have more of a AAU feel to it? Because, you know, the ding dong, that's the 20,000 or whatever it is, a lot less today. I mean, just kind of what was the difference in dynamics with that? Yeah, it was definitely the loudest game we've played. Mm -hmm. And for me, I haven't really played in front of big crowds a lot throughout my career. So. Mm -hmm. It was fun. And just kind of the behind the experience for you so far, I know obviously you guys at this point are kind of locked into games, but you guys got here early, got here on Sunday. So what was those first few days like for you uh, out here? It's been great. Um, I haven't, this is my first time being out here. So just seeing the different culture and everything, it's been great out here, yeah. What, what is it like when you enter college with just these crazy expectations? I would say saying nutty things about you or expecting one and done this or that or you know thinking like oh, he, he's going to be scoring 25 points a game right off the bat like how do you deal with just sort of the hype and the craze of it all yeah my whole life i think i've had hype around me i've had good things expected from me and bad things expected from me i, I just kind of learned to tune it out and just focus on myself and my development so in terms of coming off the bench for the first time ever, yeah. what's that been like? And have you learned to appreciate it in a way? Like, are there things that maybe you pick up at the start of games watching from where you are that you didn't see before? I definitely learned to appreciate it. My coaches are making me work for things. Usually, honestly, coaches just, I want to say, give me handouts, but sure. I usually get what I want on the team. So coming out here and the coach is making me earn a starting spot, making me earn minutes um, has been great. And I learned how, I learned to appreciate it too, because when I when I start on the bench, I could I could learn a lot by just watching, so I know what to do when I get in and um in practice when I'm I'm not with the starting five, I'm playing against the starting five every day, so it's just making me better. I wanted to ask you a little bit about Cormac Bryant. I mean, obviously he's a guy, he's a pretty fiery guy, things like that. Just kind of behind the scenes, what's he like as a teammate and what's it like being in practice with him? He's one of our most like vocal leaders. Yeah. He's, he's just really nice, really funny. But as soon as we step on the floor, he's like a different guy. Like he's, he's the most competitive guy on the team for sure. Being on this trip and spending so much time with each other, have you learned anything about your teammates that you didn't know? Um, not really, because we spent so much time together, like even before this. Yeah. So I kind of know a lot about my teammates already because we're all so like close already. You know, we all went to a uh, like a, a youth hostel. I think, yeah, yeah, we did. When you got here. Yeah. What was that experience like? I imagine pretty powerful. Yeah, definitely just giving back to kids, like kids that never seen basketball players, kids that really appreciate the fact that we're coming out. And us so just giving them our time, giving okay. them our attention, just, just and giving sure them everybody. like yeah. gifts and stuff. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> Kind of puts things into perspective, maybe. Yeah, for sure. A little bit. For sure, yeah. One thing you talked a little bit about the culture of the Bahamas, learning that. What's kind of stuck out to you? Like, was there anything that surprised? I don't know if you had expectations going in, but like, has there been anything that has really sticked out to you as, as far as? Like uh, everybody out here is like really respectful. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I learned, and also when I was walking outside yesterday, I heard like really loud music. I don't know how to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to describe what yeah. kind of music it was, but yeah, it was really cool, and I stayed and watched it for a little because it was really. Cool. 